Hi, Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I just thought about how demons will be running interference. You Now, I don't know anything about football. But you know how you have certain guys that are supposed to hit the goal and, and carry the ball, catch the ball, kick the ball, whatever. And then you've got these these defense people running interference so that you cannot accomplish what you would. Now, here's the way that demons run interference in our lives. And we've got to be very watchful. Apparently, the perfect man, the perfect woman, the perfect opportunity, Chaos, trauma, drama, crisis. Arguments here, arguments over there. Fights and fumes and feuds and, and battles and, and antagonizing strife. Huh? Confusion, craziness. Running interference. If you can be kept caught up now look at my eyes. I'm really being stupid now. Because this is this is what his aim is for. To get us all caught up. Oh no. Oh, what's going on in my life? Oh, I just can't handle this. Oh, this is really driving me crazy. This is driving me batty. When you've got a bunch of I, I gotta I gotta make an example here. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. You got a lot of this. Can you hear what I'm saying over there? Can you hear what I'm saying? I could be saying, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch the TV by the tail. If you want to let him down. Or I could be saying, don't go around the corner to the block. Don't go visit that guy because that guy is going to uh, molest your child in about two years and your child will be messed up for life and you'll have to take care of her. And I hope. Can you hear what I just said? All those warnings. First, I said, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a peek about it, okay. Then I said, don't go down the block and, 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 and date that guy because in two years, he's going to molest your child and your child would be messed up for life and you'll have to take care. I mean, shh. if you couldn't hear it, it's because there was too much interference, static, noise, chaos, confusion. Distraction, 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 distraction. When I used to play handball in Brooklyn, we used to have a way of psyching each other out. You play handball, you got the ball, you're getting ready to, you lean like you're going to hit it on that side of the wall, and your opponent runs on that side of the wall, and right at the last minute you hit it straight up, so it goes right down the line. Nobody's there. Because you had them thinking it was going somewhere else. So they were not in position. And you get the point and they lose the point. That's how interference, how distractions run. Catch you running over there. Well, you're not in, in, in position. God wants you to catch this. You can't catch it. You're too busy running after a make-believe, a facade, a smokescreen. I know you're saying, what the heck are you saying, girl? We have got to be watchful. We have got to be focused this may not be the time for you to date. This may not be the time for you to go husband hunting or wife hunting or nookie hunting for that matter. Mm -hmm. It's never the time to do that, but this might really not be the time for that. And Satan has familiar spirits that work against us and will try to get us off the beaten path 
so that we're chasing something over here when God is trying to bring something straight to us and we're out of out of out of alignment. We're out of place. And pew, pew, gone, baby. We miss it. And we get caught up. Caught up. While the spirits that run interference are working their mojo, baby. Come on in here, sucker. Well, I got something for you. And you going nose wide open. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, what's going on? I'm hurt. You have got to ask God to help you. To help you get the message in time. To be able to line up with his will to protect you to warn you, to instruct you for your sake, your children's sake, your wife's sake, your husband's sake, your family member's sake, your friend's sake, your own, whatever. You have got to know that you are in position. I don't care if you're getting inner healing. I don't care if you're in the purity getting deliverance being cleansed, being used, whatever the case may be, be where God wants you to be. And it shall be well with you, no matter what. Hear me? Oh, okay, I got to say this. Here's another strategy that gets you on the other side of the court when you should be over here. Pride. Sometimes pride makes you say, I know where that ball's going. Look at his body English. I got this. And you slide over there to get that ball. I'm talking about handball, but I'm talking about the spirit realm. Okay, you got this over here. Racquetball, whatever you want to call it. Same game. Okay, you're over here because you got this covered. <laughs> Come on here. And the ball's, boom. You can't reach it. You can't. You can't bribe it, it's gone. Because you ran to the wrong place, full of your own confidence, thinking, I got this. Be careful about pride. The Bible said, pride comes before a fall, and a haughty heart before a haughty heart, before destruction. So keep yourself humble. Stay open. Stay on that pivot foot like basketball players so you can easily shift when you see God coming. And you can shift out of the way when you see the enemy coming. You won't be so distracted. Okay, I'm done. These are just my warnings for these last days. <laughs>